No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I'm in here back again for the fourth time, really. Oh, hood. The legendary Crip Mac is oh, in hood. the building. <laughs> Fat Mac Crip. And yeah. I decided to hit up. I was trying to kind of scramble at the last minute, trying to figure out somebody that I could bring in to have a conversation with, with Crip Mac on camera. That Crip Juice. It occurred to me. That Crip Juice make a cinch mm-hmm. get loose. My man, <laughs> Trap Zilla. Recently, he had an appearance on the No Jumper podcast, and, it, and people seemed to really like him. I liked him. Him, so I figured, why don't I bring two of my favorite minds together? Los Angeles loves me. And he was out playing poker until, what, 9, 10 in the morning, oh, which shit, I, I really respect. Like, I got there at 3 a.m. and shit. Then you hit me up, so I left the table. Jackpot fucking hit right after, but whatever. It is worth more at the end of the day. It is what it is. <laughs> well, it's very nice to have you gentlemen in here. I appreciate here. you. I, I noticed Crip Mac with a blunt, which I ain't seen before. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cub. You find me? Everything gonna see all right. On neighborhood crib, my mind see going crazy, come really. It it, it kind of eased the mind a little. You find me, you think before reaction, before destruction. Uh-huh. It, it, it it keep you calmer on her. That's good to know. Yeah, what you been going through it because of your newfound celebrity or, or what's going on no, in your no, life? No, so much cut. Everybody just 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 all of a sudden his family members cut. All of a sudden give a fuck about me cut. Mm. You find me, so it's like. I'm rolling, so I'm, I'm starting to think, like, God damn, shit changing. I'm hood, and then, and then I'm hood, I keep it 50 fair straight. So people are showing the true colors out here, you know? I'm, I'm rolling, and then the citrus, everybody ended up pregnant all of a sudden, cuz. You got a girl pregnant? Oh, cuz, I, I think it's more than that, cuz, down there far. Twins? Man, I don't know. Five? If I, I'm hood, but I don't know how many of them citrus right. really got the Crip Mac baby, cuz. If they do, it's a beautiful blessing. You oh, find me yeah. on neighborhood Crip, it's a beautiful blessing. So that means pretty much, cuz, I'm not gonna see what no sis you find me. So you might have five crib. kids on the way. Cut, you not even five girls? They, they, they all cut up, Shit. all princesses on rolling. I just Shit, realized. I was hard with two. Yeah, yeah. Is, <laughs> is this a real thing? Hey, babies are a blessing though, cuz. Yeah. Baby mamas is a curse. Like 95% of the time on neighborhood crib, keep it 50 fair straight. And 5%, they something nifty on 50. So you don't be wrapping it up when you do have sex? I wish them bareback splash stitches <laughs> on rolling crib. I'm going to keep it 50 fair straight. I'm That's how I heard. Better, That's if I better come rolling. Wow. You ain't scared or nothing? You just get in there? I mean, I mean, cause it's like this. You go, you, you fight me, she going to have a baby or whatever on hood. Mm. But I'm just not. I mean, cuz, like, I'm just not fucking any sis that I, you find me that I just meet on the side of the road, cuz. Right. On Western. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit like that, cuz, on road. Oh, hood. Cuz I don't know if Trav Zilla knows about this, but you recently had a song come out, and it's not actually on your mixtape, which I spent $55 on. <laughs> <laughs> Let the record show. Hey, he's a real, oh, you a real oh, one for that. You that's a real, real one, one for that, but this is some quality nifty shit right here. You oh, actually have, I, I'm sure he was tempted to put 55 songs on it, but he toned it down, kept it to a, a mere 20. Yeah, look, We got uh, Crip Jesus on it. Crip Jesus? From the 40 cribs. Yup, we got, hook, we got AD. Thing. He said AD for the last song. They said just five, on, everybody. On hook, AD. I, was, I like that. There's a whole bunch of different on LA hook. talent on here, but yeah, I was pretty hyped uh, to spend $55 on this. And I haven't even opened it up yet. Is there any you like. You gotta listen for that motherfucker. I don't have a CD player, dude. Oh, come. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, can you have to get a CD player? Listen, five. Or, you know, some motherfuckers got it in their car still. Mm, yeah, see, shit. if I had a CD player, I'd be banging shit. out. Huh? You get the little CD shit put in there. Huh? Oh, I could get a CD player installed? I could get a CD changer in the trunk? <laughs> no, some shit like that. Can I just get you a CD player? Is there other rappers in your neighborhood? All on Husters, on Husters, uh, are singers included? Awesome, yes, of course. Uh, on Hood, T-Fly, the singer. On Hood, uh, from 5-5 Neighborhood Crip, on Hood. Okay, myself on hood, then you got the uh normally you have BS on hood, you got Carte Blanche on hood, we got a uh, 50 boy okay, on hood, we got Jay Nifty, right? He Western Wiggle on hood. That's the guy who wrote Western Wiggle. On hood. Because that's one of my favorite songs on YouTube by you. Now tell me, <laughs> what what is the Western Wiggle? Well, okay. Western Wiggle in a sitch on hood. I took it to mean that the Western Wiggle is like finding a woman selling their vagina on Western and then taking her for a spin. No, no, Western Wiggle, Western Wiggle a sitch. 
like Western bareback splash her ass somewhere. Oh. Something nifty on 50s. I like that. The lingo oh, kind of uh, changes between sections pretty much, right? If I'm not mistaken, correct? What you mean by that? Well, like different crib sections, you know what I mean? Like, let's say they have different lingo, depending on what neighborhood you're actually yeah, from. What, what, what motherfucker, yeah, what hood they from. Exactly. Oh, Definitely. You've been going through some crazy stuff, though, in the sense that you've been having all these different YouTubers pulling up to your neighborhood and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, Crip Mac, he's out here just, like, putting in work with all the up-and-coming interviewers, oh, yeah, yeah. people oh. wanting to do food shows. I've seen him with China yeah. Mac in the, on the too. block. Yep, shout out China Mac. That's a great man right there. How's that been going? Do you ever have a problem keeping these guys safe when they come to your neighborhood? Oh, some of them, they, they might duck a little when, when they come <laughs> down the street. You fired me. At the same time, everything going to see all right. You fired me. We're going to stay alert. Everything around that motherfucker. We don't got to explain nothing else on rolling. Right. They, oh, uh. they always I think pretty much every hood in L.A., you come looking for trouble, you're going to find it. You come with respect and dignity. I think you're pretty good pretty much everywhere. You mean? You no, no, not me. me. Oh, you see yeah. what I got counted on me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I seen it. I, I seen mean, it. every motherfucking thing about my tattoos on hood. Right. If I be. They always want to so ask you about that. None of that stuff, that's for, that ain't for looks. That's, for, that's, that's, no, that's, that's no, a this, real. No, no, this is, that's why I was thinking people that's know. It. This is not, this is not an act. Jail is not gotcha. an act. Oh, this hell is no. real motherfucking shit out here. Mm-hmm. But the world, look at it all kind of funny. Uh, I appreciate that, <laughs> they man. Really don't know. <laughs> they don't know. We touched Mac, in the last yeah. year if you, a lot of people don't like live what they say or live what they rap. Exactly. Right? exactly. But, you know, but what did you think? Look, it, 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 it's, it's common sense. All these gang whack outs and how I am. Don't you think if I wasn't about it, don't you think the generals like Baby Snaps mm-hmm. and other homies mm-hmm. you fired me would have been got rid of me mm-hmm. out the turf? Mm-hmm. I am about what I'm about. You fired me. I get back five the community after kind of some my heart. But I, you know, keep it, you know, cool, because this is Adam show, you know, everybody. So pretty much I just keep it 50 fair straight. I respect Play that. Play ball, I respect that. Mm-hmm. Oh, look. I respect that. Play every yeah. year. For sure. The biggest... Five show, Adam. The five show. The biggest confrontation that I've kind of seen you get into in a while is you basically getting dissed by and then taking aim at Custerson White. Custerson White, Ken. I'm going to go ahead and keep it 50 fair and straight. Custer and White is a real Custer. I've noticed Cub only clout chase after motherfuckers that's doing something, you fired me. But then Cub going to lie and say Crip Mac was with a transsexual. Now again, love fight Adam's podcast, Cub. View everybody on neighborhood Crip. I'm going to say it out of love and respect. I don't get in like no oh, no boy. disrespect. I don't do those type of activities. On 55th Street, he's a clout chaser. You fired me? That's all that is on hood. That's their marketing plan, talk shit and everything like that. You know what I mean? Like, it don't go nowhere good at the end of it. Ain't nobody won that for doing that shit. So why did he say that about you? Where the hell did that come from? I know that. I, the Crip Mac, I know. He ain't with know no where shenanigans. That, where that shit came from, but I, you fired me. It's, it's, it's motherfuckers. You fired me. When you fight me, I just talk with Baby Stretch, cause my loke from 57th Street. Normally that BS fly chipper, that's my motherfucking loke. I talk with Cub, Cub, and Cub told me what the shit they say, cause it's gonna come when you when you get fired, Miss Cub. They gonna try to put smut on you, Cub. On Hustlers, you fight me, my name ain't Smut. <laughs> <laughs> on neighborhood Crip, I don't snort my nose. I'm gonna keep it 55 straight. On neighborhood Crip. He can't say that. When I met you. Mm-hmm. You was putting some shit up your nose. Oh yeah, that back was the, back that in was day. that era in my life as well. I was doing a lot of cocaine back in the day. Yes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I was doing a lot of cocaine back See, in the Mac, day. See, if you met us back in the day, yeah, you would have yeah. been lit up with us. You would have been at the no, rainbow. I mean, I mean, <laughs> no, no, I mean smut, like smut, like bad shit, smut. Right. And then I snorted my nose like rags. Oh lord. <laughs> yeah, only I'm keeping it fifty fifth Street. We're talking about drugs. Right, but so, oh, but you, you know, understand you, that lingo. You never thought about doing coke. I never fucked with it. I keep it 55th straight. I don't know. That's probably a good thing. It's, it's how it is. Like I was saying, baby snaps and, and homies, you know, general homies in the turf. Neighborhood crib, young homies is on drugs, cuz. Mm. You going in that alley, they going to beat the fuck out of you, cuz. They going to they gonna fuck you up real mm. bad. If they see you oh, doing coke, that's not allowed for gang members? I mean, cuz, fight my hood, cuz. Drugs, it's not allowed. Fight nobody. Motherfuckers, you fight me, they smoke their weed, they drink, whatever, cuz. You got some homies, you fight me, they did pop the pills and uh, the link. All right, cool. Cut up the crystal map and the snoring and all that oh, shit, yeah, cuz. Neighborhood crib. Yeah, nobody's out. bigger than the program, cuz. Niggas is in that alley, cuz. Mm. On neighborhood crib. Wow. On hook. That's real. Truth. 
I'm just keeping it 55 straight. But you feel like the weed is helping out your mental state. I feel like state. the weed, it, 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 it calmed me down a little bit. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, you fired me? I'm rolling. Man. But like, so, so the other issue with Charleston White, though, is he was like, and, and what caused him to come at you so so hard in the first place, bro? Like, what, what was it that set him off towards you? I guess the, uh, on hood, the, uh, the fifth thing really was the thing before on hood. Cuz was saying, I wasn't going back and fifth with Cuz, I'm rolling crib. Cookie Monster. I sound like, I, you know, I sound like I, I don't on neighborhood crib. That's hard. I though. said on <clears throat> I cut, like that. Cookie Monster cut blue on neighborhood crib. That's what I'm saying. So you, you, I would think you would want to be compared to him. Oh, that's just. <laughs> and you, you fuck and with cookies? I miss and cut five miss. If I had a nice warm chocolate chip cookie right here, I wouldn't. I wouldn't eat it. Why? Because I would want some uh, citrus coochie and asshole. Cause but that's a totally different thing. Though, I right? wouldn't eat <laughs> the cookie because I don't want it. I want the real dessert, rolling crib. Okay. Keep it fifty fifth straight. That's fair. Um, but okay, so he was taking issue with with that, and then you know, because I remember, like, he was coming at you hard. He was he was accusing you of being homeless and shit. I'm like, where is this coming from? Why you <laughs> why you got so much hate for somebody that you know, you don't know anything about? Well, I keep it fifty fair straight. Cause they say that because that's probably why he think I get back five the community. Huh. You know, motherfuckers have been on parole. Like I said last interview we was in, cuz you, you fight me. I'm teasing them. Mama don't want me to mention no names. I'm not gonna do it. They were, I'm teasing them. Already got it on mama's ass about it. Mama bear and granny bear. <laughs> on her, so no names don't come. They were crit, but I, I I couldn't have a spot five parole. Uh huh. You fight me, and when oh. you get out of the penitentiary, you gotta have a spot five parole. So you know they had the programs and shit with the parolees and shit down there. I used to find, see the people come down there and give stuff. Five people, cuz you fired me. And I was out there. I was looking like, God damn, like, cuz there's some people that actually really care about this people down here. Them people down there, cuz five, like, they suicidal. And guess what? Crip Max says, never commit suicide. Never commit suicide. Do your program time five, and everything going to see all right. You fired me? And That's like real. Lupe says, neighborhood, bro. There's always hood. hope. Oh, yeah. On oh, hood, everything gonna see all right. It's been a mental revolution, man. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, that was one thing I thought was pretty messed up with, though. That he was saying he he was trying to basically say that because Crip Mag is out here helping the homeless and giving hmm. back to the homeless, I've seen that. that like somebody was trying to draw a connection that that meant that you were homeless. And I'm like, I've been in, motherfucker, I've been in clearly the got a spot. Down here, you fight me on hood. I have. Shit, I was a homeless program, fourteen year old, bro. On rolling. Been in the program down here on hood. So you fight me, I used to see everything around that motherfucker. You fight me, I take the cuffs on hood, get all the way up, fight the hood, you know? Definitely. And on hood, you know, you get a little day pass out the little programs on hood, mm. hang with the homies on the fire cub. Mm. Neighborhood crib, then we go get some Popeye's chicken, go fight a food fight, let's call neighborhood crib and get the drinks. I mean, and traditionally, the Crips have always done a lot for the community. You know what mm. I mean? Like, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah. it was a community revolution in progress, was one of the original terms for it, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I mean? Just go through the history of shit like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, we keep it 50 Yeah, years, I mean, right? they've always done a lot for the community. They really, really have. Right. I've been watching my entire life. Definitely, 100%. Everything's going to mm. see all right. Everything, everything's going to see all right. And most real gangsters spend a lot of time in their youth in the church and everything else, too. You know what I mean? So a lot of them come in different type of empathy when it comes to shit. What people see, like, really, what they want to see is not necessarily the reality of a lot of things. Most of these people are really good people, God-fearing people. You know what I mean? they got a lot of respect for their parents and everything else. It's, it's different than what people assume. Yeah, you, you're right about that. I say something else, though, on hood. You fired me, but it's, 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 it's hate fire the opposition. Mm -hmm. Of course. Now, innocent people is great. Yeah. Great man, great heart on hood. Mm -hmm. You fight me, but uh, immediate enemies kept on hood. It's, it's all hate. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people that have passed away. I mean, yeah, yes. Yeah, Didn't I say that the last interview, Adam? Uh huh. People that passed that on yeah, people you can't, that's you, can't, you can't end that kind of beef. Yeah, on hood. It's not going to happen. Hood. But what kind of reaction do you get from the homeless people when you are going to Skid Row and giving out food oh, and all that? Oh, we get great reactions. Uh, Lupe actually pull up down there. Uh huh. And we get everything out, and uh, the people will say, "Do you see what's in here? This is this is real food." Like, people go down here and give them the uh, the sandwiches and the water. We doing soul food. You fired me up. Plate. Late night freak cinch. She does her motherfucking food, cause she do her spaghetti on hood. Uh. Her uh, her soul food is she was on hood. You fired me. So, do you ever get a reaction from people down there who either have seen you on YouTube or from people who? Yeah, yeah. You you do have fans out there, people who have yeah, yeah, tapped on in. Hood. And also, some people you fired me. I'm no better than nobody else. Cut was in the program, 
And now they got put out the program, cut they down there, cut you fired me, they in the tent. You fired me, I'm no better than nobody else, cut. Any day, any time, we can lose everything we got on neighborhood crib, especially if you live a life like me, cut, a county jail, a penitentiary, or death. Mm. On running crib, you stay in jail five, five so long on neighborhood crib, you're gonna end up out with nothing, cut, because your people not really gonna wanna fuck with you. Mm. I'm keeping it 55th Street, Adam. But your, your legal situation's all good right now? You ain't had any issues? Oh, no, no, no. That shit, that shit nifty on hood. Shit's gonna, still hanging over your head a little bit? Yeah, yeah, but it's nifty, kid. A better outcome is coming out of it on hood. It's nifty. You find me and everything going to see all right. Definitely. It's good to know. Um, yeah, you know, I never had an issue with Charleston White myself. But then in the video, like, he was on some, some podcast and he was talking about me. He's talking about AD. He got mad as fuck at AD because AD basically said, because he feels like Charleston White has disrespected, you know, all gangs of LA. So that's why, from his perspective, he wouldn't want Charleston White coming here. He said, basically, if you bring him here, I'm going to get him set up. Charleston White got super mad about that and he was saying all this crazy shit to AD. He said, fuck your dead homies. Well, that's interesting. Which is like, I was just immediately like, oh, okay, that that's the end of me being able to act like I would want to interview you. Because if you're going to say something like that to somebody I'm close with, I mean, that's we, almost we, we can't end, be that, cool, right? That's almost the end of you and speaking of anything. Adam would you. never <laughs> interview Custer Sin White. Yeah. After that, oh. I mean, you know, the, 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 the saying of the day, a lot of people say this, myself, I've been saying a little bit. Nobody's bigger than the program. So that sounds like start, jail. Yeah. Sound like the county jail. Sound like the penitentiary. <laughs> that sounds like something baby snaps in the general on the turf. Right. You find me. We say nobody's bigger than the program, kid. Yeah. On hood, everybody got to. You find me. Do they park? Cause it cause comes first the inside there, bro. And all that on hood. You can't just be disrespecting like that. You know that's that's too much. I don't like it. It's probably a marketing plan in his crazy head, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? He's an ignorant one. You know what I mean? It's the most worst possible way. You'd be trying to get a reaction, obviously. You know what I mean? At that mm. point, right? That's interesting. But, you know, people say that to me about Crip Mac, too. They think that he's so charming that he must be, like, trying to go viral. And I'm like, I'm not nah, trying to go viral. that's just I'm him. Just Seems him like he's really, really from the hood. Yeah, he's really from where he's I'm from. I'm a motherfucker. I really am. You know what I'm saying? Ain't about nothing about the viral and all this other shit. I don't look. Yeah, nah, for sure. It's just the real, the real him. Hundred percent. Hey, I, I just want to throw this up there. Fifty-five, hundred percent. What do you guys think of this shirt? Is that one of the I new mean, fashion the over the, the fashion nifty. over shirts? What's going on the color here? Color nifty on that motherfucker. I appreciate that. Oh uh, no, I got this when I was out in Hawaii. We were staying at a, a resort called uh, Those Turtle little pineapples, Bay. Little no, turtles, little turtles, man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Shout out to the homie, little turtle, aka Gina. What up? <laughs> uh, yeah, new, new name. Well, my shirt's covered in turtles, and then you walked in, so I guess you're a little turtle now. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's it for show. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of what else is, is going on. Speaking of little turtles, world. you know, like that that's like what they sell in Chinatown on the low. Little baby but, yeah, turtles? Yeah, little, little baby turtles are illegal to sell. You know what I mean? But like, well, yeah, I, I barely learned that too, yeah. They're, li- they're trapping selling those turtles. They can't sell those out of a pet no. store or nothing? No. How's that crib toast? You like that, d- Delicious, I see you drink it, yeah. <laughs> he triple cupped it. <laughs> what are you triple cupping for? Hey. Trying to get some memories, bro. Five more seconds. Come on, car. Hey. Look at, oh, my God. You're going to get my man's wasted. Oh, I've been up this 3 o'clock fucking gambling. I'm good. Trust me. Three o'clock. That's when you started gambling. So yes. You were sleeping. Well, I was sleeping uh, previous to that. Got my ass there and started playing. Um, I like going. I like going past like two. You know what I mean to be honest with you, just because people are a little bit more like they're drunk and they're oh, lost yeah. and they're ready to get lost. Some people just want to lose their fucking money to go home. Right. I see it all the time. Damn. You ever think about leaving that casino and just heading over to Fifty Fifth Street and just posting up on the block with C Mac? Shit. Yeah. I mean, that, I, that, I, that, I, I ain't been. I, 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 I ain't been invited. <laughs> you know, with the proper invitation from the right people, you never know. Yeah, might yeah, might be yeah, out yeah, there. You know what I mean? We're working on that. Yeah. yeah. As long as we're talking about animals, I do have to say, rest in peace to the one and only Tony Cash. Yes. Uh, yes. Rest in peace, to Tony Cash. Where is it? I saw how it's much. Right you... here. Huh. Oh, hey, Tony. <laughs> Legendary. I saw how much yeah. you love that animal, man. I'm sorry to hear about that passing of that animal, bro. I was <sighs> yeah. a family member to you, huh? That was a tough thing to go through, definitely. Yeah. I still ain't right over losing my little dog, Fane, like, what, six years ago. And I still think about, the li- especially cats and little dogs, bro. Like, I don't know. They get, there's a certain, like, connection you get with them that's just different than from having big animals. You know what I mean? Like, so, of course, some people would probably think different, but I don't know. 
they just seem to be have a more connection to your soul if that makes any sense especially cats you know what i mean i had a cat that fucking took off not too long ago and that, i felt like that fool knew me mm, for sure yeah, yeah. animals is it's, it's something nifty you find me oh what like even uh c max is actually keeping the tony cat name a lot because he tony has a mac. cat tony mac yes me and uh uh the late night freak sitch got a uh, tony mac on wood and um you know and uh lupe took the cat to get uh, shots and everything he's healthy see when tony mac when i was talking wood. to you about that cat i thought for sure that you just found that cat running around outside and you <laughs> took him in and then you said nah cuz i got him off a of mexican on craigslist <laughs> on neighborhood crib i got it off a of mexican on craigslist <laughs> i'm gonna keep it 55th street i did Lupe, did I not? Yeah, she took cuts. And, and you were like, I could plug you with the Mexican. <laughs> I'm like, there's mad cats, bro. Cats. I don't, I don't gotta tell him with that dude. I had the kittens. Because I just didn't see you as the kind of guy who would like go out of his way to get a cat. I thought that like you would just see a cat outside and just be like, all right, come on in, cat. No, I'll go on Craigslist and see uh what the shit was going on with you fight me. Right. I'm good if I don't see Mickey or Tricky. On neighborhood crib, uh, you find me something nifty on fifties. What else have you used Craigslist, Craigslist for in your life? I've only used Craigslist <laughs> five. You find me, they had a little cheap cars. Can you find me oh, really? get take the parts off the motherfuckers and sell them on hood? Uh, yeah, my, my oh. first job at fourteen years old, I had a neighbor that was a pimp. I used to pimp. I used to post his girls on Craigslist. Take the pictures and post them on there and everything the whole night. You would do that for him? Yeah, for him. What a great him. job for a little kid. I was 14 kid. years yeah. old. It was the greatest experience of my life at the time. I'll be honest with you. I learned a lot from that pimp, man. He wow. to, <laughs> that was early on. They were making real money on that shit, bro. That's like, it was different. Right yeah, it was real fucking money. <laughs> you, never, you never been involved in pimping, Crip Mac? No, 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 no shit like that. Cause you fired no. me like a. Oh, hood, huh. that that type of shit, cuz you find me, it's like, oh, huh, it's, 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 it's either act right, cuz she don't. You find mm -hmm. me? Or, uh, motherfuckers do destruction fiber on neighborhood crips. I just leave that shit alone, cuz. Yeah, this is, is a gorilla I pimping. I get my own motherfucking increments. <laughs> Oh, rolling crib. I was interviewing this OnlyFans girl the other day. Let me let me she just. She had a juicy ass. Juicy ass. Oh, my friend. God I'm damn. telling you. I'm telling you. Patreon.com slash no jumper. She, like? she was a little, a little white shorty, you know? No. She had a you imagine you OnlyFans girls now. Huh? You, you got, got that, that going as well, my friend. Yes. Uh, and we're going to. My, my goal. You got, a, you got an A list member, the, the latest one I see right there. That's you heard? Good. My goal <laughs> is to get some girls who are down for Crip Max to get up in them guts. Why not? I'm rolling. For dessert, on rolling. Um, but anyway, the girl was telling me that she was on an OnlyFans content trip, ready? Yeah, yeah. With a bunch of other girls, I think 12 other girls. So they're all posted up in San Diego. They go to the club. They start talking to the security guard. She fucking shoves her hand down, her, down his pants, I believe. I might be making that detail up. But she, she feels that this guy's got something that he's working with. She takes him and his homie home. These fools get to fuck 12 girls for OnlyFans. After just doing security at the club. So there used to be that Midnight Prowl site like in 2000, what, like three, 2004? I put a blue rag on my, fit, on my face, call neighborhood crib and fuck a sitch down. I like that. They used, to just, they used to pick up fools at the porn, at porn stores. Well, I mean, just oh, right. imagine being a regular guy working security and then all of a sudden this woman just like sort of whisks you away Sounds from great. your job and has you fucking her and 11 other girls. I could not believe that. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of work. Do your fucking program yeah. time fly. Yeah. Get that workout in, kid. Coach I, I told her, I'm like, if that had oh, happened uh, to me in my early 20s, that would have been the greatest experience of my life. And I think it might have turned me out for life. Like, I might have really became a porn star right then and there. Past two is a lot of work. Yeah, I, won't, I don't know what to do that with just 12. Like two, like, what the fuck? Like, someone, someone's going sit to be sitting there awkward at one point in that, in that scenario. But I feel like if I'm around 12 girls, it's going to have like a Viagra, use this a, a Viagra effect on my soul. You know, like, we'll take that lighter off like I'm, I'm going to get oh, so horny from being in the same room as 12 girls that I might have seven, I might have 55 boners. <laughs> get that sitch to nickel bar. <laughs> Did 18-year-old uh, Adam see all this coming? <coughs> he didn't see it coming, but he would have been pretty hyped, to be totally honest. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Anyway, Trapzilla, you got any questions for Crip Mac? I'm interested to know what you would like to discuss with him. With Crip Mac? <coughs> um, 
But it's like, I see you doing advertising on your platform and everything like oh, that. He's got some on deck for, for this <laughs> yeah, show I do, right do here. Some yeah. advertisement shit. Where, where do you see the future in that? You getting bigger and bigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything getting brighter and brighter. You find me. I don't hush this. Uh, I was talking with a lady, the Crip Witch on Hood, and the Crip Witch was telling me, "Cash, no death or no jail anytime soon." In my, you find me? Yeah. In my future on Hood, but she did say, "Cash, habits and shit's gonna slow down the increments." Mm. So now I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it is. What do you think it might be? You gonna have a heart attack or something? No, no. I'm not trying I think to put that on. So no, no, no. Cause on Hood, not that. Cause probably just uh, on Hood eating healthier mm. on neighborhood Crip. Mm. Just fuck you with the, the little Popeye's issue come Tuesdays. Right. Eat salmon, rice. You know, shit, motherfuckers really don't want to eat cub, but you got to <laughs> eat. Keep your body, you find me, a lot healthier, really. Really? You've been getting uh, in better health? Better well, shape? You haven't seen my programs on live. I have. I've been seeing you <laughs> work out. I every motherfucking number of that shit. Mm. I started off with, it was a couple weeks, I was just right doing the five. I was hood. And then uh, the five sets of them motherfuckers, I was hood. Now I'm at seven, like the 57th Street neighborhood Crips. So it's going up. That's a beautiful thing. Hey, I, I want to ask you about this. You got your fucking Instagram deleted like 10 times <laughs> since I've known you. And the guy who's currently pretending to be you basically reached out to me at one point and like threatened to kill me. Because he's scamming, pretending to be you. So God, anyone God, out there, a lot of people. don't oh. talk to the fake Crip Mac. Yeah, oh. Avoid the fake Crip Mac at all costs. Why do they keep taking you down, and what are your thoughts on this? I mean, girl, it's a lot of haters. You fight me. Mm. It's motherfuckers. You fight me, I'm going to keep it 50 fifth straight. Motherfuckers close that I know, cuz. That's probably making these fake pages, cuz, because they think they know me the best on what? Mm. Or somebody that... And you're the ones me. closest to you, dog. Here, here, here. I'm rolling. It's something like that, cuz, on her. But this this account's been up a cool minute now on her. But I start to see uh, you fight me more uh, shit where they trying to get it deleted. So I'm like, all right, cuz, I'm going to put this shit private. You know, just uh, you know, just keep the shit going. You find me on hood delivering a great message. Right. Well, we're gonna put the the actual accurate Instagram on the screen so that hopefully mm -hmm. people can tune in with that one. Because yeah, like one thing oh, uh, when the fake Crip Mag basically messaged me, like one of the things that he said was, "I've been doing this for fucking forever, yada yada." Basically, like bragging about how long he's been scamming people while making fake social media accounts uh, to pretend to be people. Like this is. This dude's hustle. Well, look, one of those kids that you started was hacking all the SoundCloud kids' pages back in the day, too. Everybody, Probably. Yeah. But it pisses me off because it's like I have people hit me up and they're like, oh, Crip Max scammed me. And I know you wouldn't do that. And I know I it's this other people. account. Coach Warren, Lupe, everybody else, they always care. We make sure everybody get their shit. Yeah. You find me? Even if it's a couple days late, can you find me? I look, they're going to get their shit. On neighborhood crib, and if they got something else coming, come maybe another five days. But they gonna get their shit. Right. I don't, I don't scam nobody. I'm not a custer, okay? Mm. That's custer shit on rolling crib. I love that hoodie. That's still one of my my favorite hoodies that oh, I got. Crip Mac. Oh, uh, I gotta wear Blue it again Church. soon. Oh, uh, Blue rag, chicken and beer. Okay? Where do they go if they wanna buy that? They got a. Uh, they just, I'm just gonna just do a cup page. Stay up long at b r o g r a m t i m e. Five, number five. So program time five. That's Coach Warren. You go if I could get these. I don't look. For sure. Well, we're going to see you in a movie or something. I don't know. Ain't nobody offering no shit like that. <laughs> I see it coming, to be honest with you. It I could see, happen, huh? I see it coming. I see it coming. Yeah, you got to find the right checks. people. You know the people that do that? You know some people? Can we keep it 50 50? <laughs> I, I actually do know some people. I don't know. I would I would tap him in with like because AD be getting some movie roles, but mm -hmm. I feel like if you get AD's same agent, how's AD ever gonna get a bully role in another movie? Because he always be playing the bullies. Like they just want him to be like a big tough guy picking on somebody. Like for some reason that's what yeah, he, yeah, that's yeah, what well, he looks like to the people booking these movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like once they get you, they're gonna look at you and AD. They're gonna be like. Uh, Crip Mac right. looks like a little bit more likely to be bullying somebody in line at 7 Eleven. No offense to AD. <laughs> oh, goddamn. That's just me. This is my, my, my thoughts. I don't want to stir the pot too much here, but anyway. AD's um, a good man. I will. Good man. Very good man. Go How many years tape. have you had the tattoo on your forehead? Shit, cut. That was 2000. Uh, shit, 92 was 92. That was like, like a year. You know, damn near a year. Only was a there year? a situation that happened that, that made that. Something you wanted to put on there, or, or just something you always felt. You know? it's, it's, it's what I felt. Mm -hmm. You find me, I'm, 
My mother's been harassing me about using X names and all that shit. So no, no name. Can you fight me? Yeah. Oh, neighborhood crib. It was like, yeah, getting out of prison and everything. Mm -hmm. You fight me. Then start a new life with, with, with that person on hood. It's like, it's like, oh, all right, can we go just start this, have a family, do all the great shit? Yeah. Because this shit just, just blow up on hood. I was on the prison yard. Uh, my, how, long my, you, how long were you in prison? Shit, cause that shit was only 10 months. It was, it was blower, but that was like 2018. Mm -hmm. 2017, I went. Now, 2018. You fired me. Did you learn a lot of lessons when you were inside? Well, it just it just show you, you fired me. It's uh, um, how to program the program order. Mm -hmm. You fired me. You're going to learn a lot. You go to jail. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> Anytime. You're going to learn a lot. People talk about being in county. I just picture you in there. Like for some reason, like it's just <laughs> you're you painted the picture of what it would be like to go. I just in there. keep it 55th straight. It's a different little tiny hard FIP. Anybody's been in jail with me, yeah. Every yo, every you know, you're going through court, neighbor crib last time and every other time on neighborhood crib. Go through the line, wherever the only thing about you, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, five five crap loud as a motherfucker. So it's like, cuz you see what's on me. Now, cuz we, we gonna see Snoop. Well, I mean, goddamn, y'all can edit that on her. <laughs> no, that was good. You edited yourself. On, on, on her, but y'all can see it. It's cuz. It's cuz. On her. Right. You know, it's kind of like like with my people and everything, a lot of like, this, like this, the issues that exist on the street don't really transfer over inside. Is it the same thing on your guys' section and everything like that? Or is it but not in county, right? In prison, yes. In the penitentiary, yeah. In the county. It's on. No, nigga, you from there? You from where? Oh, oh, that's, oh, oh you, you a nigga from the streets? Oh, you a boy from the streets? Oh, yeah, we, we gonna run that. We it's gonna on. need that. It's fucking mandatory. You fired me. It's like on the streets drinking the old English or the crib juice or the county jail. You fired mm -hmm. me. The water or the coffee, cuz. On us, this is mandatory. On oh, uh. That's real. Yeah, on uh. Did you see when I was interviewing Brick Baby and I asked him? That's my motherfucking low, cuz. That's, uh, <laughs> cut name, uh, that's, 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 uh, that's Brick Baby. That's shitty. On her from, from 60s, but that's not cut with the other shit, cut. That's you fight me, that's cut with the dreads. The other shit, right, yeah, yeah. On her. But, but, but you were like. I was in, in, in his dorm with Cut. He, he was her. just talking about being in there with you, and he was just making me just imagine. And it was yeah, just like, her. damn, I, I just can't even wrap my head around my, the two homies just being posted up in there, just catching fades together. Like, that's, that's wild that that actually happened. Real life. Real life. Yeah, that's real life. So, you know, that's. Uh, Who's you growing up over there, huh? Uh, I don't know what kind of weed I got, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to answer that question. Usually, I know what kind of weed I'm getting, and then I like I'm smoking it for a while, and I like. Whenever you ready track. with the uh, shout outs, I got some. Oh, you fire you. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, tell me what. You, he's the only person I allowed to do this, and the only person I would allow to do this. Although Crip Mac is now a a fully functioning freelancer for the No Jumper Empire, but that's something nifty on fifty. So uh, let us know uh, who you want to shout out. All right, five show. And when he came in with the notepad, I told him, I'm like, there's an app on your phone that does the same thing as that notepad. Yeah, yeah I record some music on that one. And, and so he said, he goes, I, I keep music on my on the notepad. Yeah, he doesn't like, like a pen and paper. I'm like, well, bro. you can type and words there, like too. like a pen and paper. That's where the real thoughts that's are. Such, that's the most rapper thing I ever heard because rappers only use the notepad app. Well, maybe to write some lyrics down, but mostly to just so store their music. You use that because you could put a beat yeah. on the note. Oh, God, and yeah, type blue the same thing. That, is the weed over there? Oh, you see it? Mm. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, I'm blind. Who is Lupe? Lupe, 46th Street. Lupe is a great My one. mother's name was Lupe. That's a beautiful name. My favorite Chicago rapper was named Lupe. <laughs> Not really. That's your favorite Chicago rapper? No. Nah. All right, shout out. Uh, Not even close. Uh, shout out to him, though. Good guy. All right, uh, Chubbies. You fired me. Pause. It's a hat. Oh. It say no handouts on a hat. Fuck with that. You fired me. It's, it's not rocket scientist. It's not rocket scientist. <laughs> Motherfucker, know what this means. No handouts on rolling. Get out there and get your shit. Get your increments. Do your shit. Get your work in. Oh, no handouts. You fired me. I understand, cuz. We're going to keep it 55th Street. A lot of motherfuckers do need help, cuz. On hustlers, but it's about, you know, staying focused, getting your increments. Everything going to see all right. So that's the no handouts on her. That's Adam. That's fire you. Woo! Oh, no hand, only, hand, only hand ups. <laughs> oh, uh, this right here is Took. This is uh, a young man. This is his uh, this hoodie right here. You, you sure it doesn't me? say Toke? It looks like T O K E. Well, it, yeah, yeah, I think T O O K E. Yeah. Oh, it is two O's. Yeah, so, pretty much, I. the whole caption with this is uh, you take out shit, 
you fire me, you take out shit, you pretty much do destruction. Uh -huh. But at the end, have love five people. Like, I got love five, the community on hood. Uh -huh. Give back five, the motherfucking community. Give back. back five, the motherfucking community on hood. That's the motto. That's the motherfucking yeah, model. I notice everybody does they program time five. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, I'm, I'm just getting don't gifted. Give back five the community. So people give you money to gift me with cool merch. Real, real, real nifty shit on Fed That is nifty. Hood. Very nifty. And it, uh, yeah, on hood. And then look, this right here. That's the Chubbies. It's the Instagram C H U B B I. This is e what you're smoking on. Z yeah underscore E X O T I C S. Chubby's Exotics. Me. Yeah, I like it. It's a blue pouch, and Cub got a blue hat on Cub. That's some <laughs> fat, fat Mac. That's fat Mac. That's fat Cub. Uh. Fat hood. And Cub got on some motherfucking, oh, goddamn, crap blue shoes. Oh, uh, and it's in a blue pack. I'm like, oh, all right, Cub. It's probably with the same color. I oh, look, that's that's something that. nifty. Oh, that's all right. Huh. That's I'm getting gifted you. again. What the fuck? <laughs> this is what you're smoking on? You smoking on that Chubby's? Pause. Yeah, oh, look. Okay. Yo, yeah, that. that's, that's something nifty. That's actually pretty good. And then, yeah, oh, it's this, uh, on the dead homies, you fired me. A real, uh, real solid comedian, up and coming. Cause her name Rennie Loke out of Compton. Rennie Loke. Oh, uh, she's beautiful with a juicy ass. Wow. I'm gonna keep it 55th Street. I, I would expect R -E -N -N -I -E nothing less. N N I E L O C. That's her YouTube. Her Instagram go through shit, so hit her YouTube, cut you five me on Hustas, and mm. get a contact with her. Real nifty on 50s. Wow. Hell yeah. That's official. <laughs> yeah, on her. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just two more on her. Okay. Uh, um, it's, uh, it's the Instagram app, B L A 5 T X 6 0. Me and Cud got the song Five Night Fuck. <laughs> All right. I want to sing the hook. I made it in Wayside, Cud. Oh. Even the enemies well, they got like that hot they water. Oh, neighbor crib. I give you 55th Street. Look, 813. Oh, Husters. Supermax. <laughs> On 55 Crib. And they go like this. <laughs> oh, goddamn. I'm going to drink a little Crib juice, Cal okay. Roller. Mm hmm. I'm not interested. And falling in love, girl. I just want some pussy and butt. Get it. Get it. I want to know just cause. I just want to find that fuck. Let go. On five, five, friend. <laughs> oh, uh. But that's him. He's from you New Jersey. You wrote that while you were locked up. Yeah. And wow. uh, the artist that got featured on it was uh, on Hood. Instagram at B L A 5 T X 6 0. He a New, uh, New Jersey nigga, right? Ooh. It's, not, it's just spelled B L A 5 T X 6 0. I guess it's like Blast. He a New Jersey uh, nigga from Rolling 60s. Ooh. On Hood. And uh, yeah, he's up and coming. On Hood says, uh, of course, my low baby stretch. 57th Street. Oh, hood. Cub, five ever my low. Through every motherfucking thing, cub. Upcoming music and all that. Instagram at N O R M A N D I underscore A V E underscore B S. That's Baby Stretch. That's Fly Chipper from the 57th Street. Oh, hustlers. <laughs> you find me? And it, uh, it shot, uh, shot by Manzo. Out in the L.A. area, he does, you know, he takes care of sisters, I'm going to say. You find me, you want your little videos and shit done. And on Hustas, he just got a last issue. That's every month. Let me see, cuz. God damn it. You know, oh, shit. The recording They're quality, all though, was size wild, though. Uh, 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 Seeing uh, 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 who he tapped in with for ads is more interesting than what most people talk about oh, on the podcast. <laughs> I, that's like the weird thing. I would normally I never let someone issue. do this. But he's, yeah, it's, it's so interesting. He, yeah, he's talking. He, he met up with a guy you. from 60s, from Jersey. He wants yeah, him yeah, to yeah. advertise a yeah. pair of pants. Like, what the? It could yeah. be anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, 
<laughs> Got some overalls. You guys are all over the country, huh? Uh, you guys are, the, the hood's all over the country at this point. Then, oh, huh? yeah, yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. I don't know if 55th Street has made the global expansion yet. Have well, they? we got other, you know, areas. They got the the, the, the Vegas uh, five fives. You okay. find Colorado, uh, New York, uh, Texas also cover. It's going. That's good to know. They come down five the hood day. That's Ooh. all respect. They, May 5th. May 5th. They there. Yeah, the hood day. May 5th. Put that in my calendar. Five, five. May 5th. I've been meaning to hit a hood day. I've never oh, been to a hood day. We got <laughs> Oh hood, but yeah, oh hood. The last is is at his Instagram is at bgtk. Blessed up, he's a great singer. I posted him on my YouTube issue. You find me? He's a great singer. He's something you you want to hear. Eventually, me and Cub might get a you know a, a, a track running together. He could be on the next Crip Mac album. Yeah, Cub Cub can sing. You find me? So you know he can sing something about the trenches. Blue rags and money bags. That's, that's, that seems about right. That's what I'm doing. It's a beautiful thing. That's beautiful. <laughs> very, extremely beautiful. <laughs> that's a beautiful world. A very beautiful world. It's <laughs> a beautiful existence. L- let me ask you this, without naming names, because people always want to ask about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crit Mac, mm-hmm. how do you feel, me and you being pretty good friends, how does it feel when I have an interview with somebody who maybe you don't get along with, in particular on like a well, street politics Well, I, I keep level. it Fifty Fifth Street. It's business. Mm. People that are from wherever they, they you know, they, they blowing up. You find me go viral enough. Oh, look, you got an interview with Mr. Adam. You from where you from? I'm from where I'm from. You find me. It's Adam. You find me. Y'all come do y'all shit. Like I told Cun last interview, I'm not stopping nobody from any hood coming here to do what they do. Come hood. It's just sense this on rolling. Yeah, that's basically what I tell him. I'm like, man, you know, this is it's all business. I got hell of love for Crip Mac, but at the same time, all it is is business. We fucking with, you know, we fucking with everybody in LA. We got to show support. I'm, I'm an outsider. I'm not tapped in with anybody specifically. I'm tapped in with. I'm trying to tap in with everybody. I'm trying to show love to everybody. Yeah. And there we go. Um, new slang in these streets. They say I'm a trophy. Where I'm from. I'm, I heard I, that. I'm saying. a trophy. You feel like you're a trophy? That's yeah. Usually, from what I understand, that's usually you're a trophy if if they get your ass as a trophy. I mean, I'm not used to being okay. A positive. That that I think would be the other way. Is, yeah. is if the so and sos get to Trapzilla, then okay, then Trapzilla they got a trophy. Can we keep it fifty best straight? But we could keep it positive too. Let's right? keep it fifty best straight. A lot of you motherfuckers that say they trophies cut really is not trophies. Mm. They're nothing. You They're a participation me? trophy. <laughs> That's a bar. Part. Think about Man, it. Man, cut. Just look. Jumping out. Custer. A custer is not a trophy. Mm. They're not a trophy. You find me? They might see from where they from, Kev, but a custer is not a trophy on neighborhood crib. It's the motherfuckers that matter. Mm. On hood. That's just how we're going to keep it. A lot of fake trophies mm-hmm. out there. You There's don't want to say of, you're a trophy if you're not really a trophy. A lot of fake trophies. Isn't, isn't that what people can consider snitches and start talking to the police? Ain't nobody fucking with them. People ain't even trying to turn them or nothing. You stay the fuck away from them people. They're cop callers. I got a good snitch question. Go. Cool. I was talking to somebody recently, mm-hmm. and they told me that they tried to get on another podcast. I won't say what podcast, mm-hmm. but the podcast basically told them they wouldn't interview him because he was a snitch. This had never really occurred to me before, like, because I don't fucking care. Well, without saying names, you, you, you've had some on, on your platform itself. and But that's, Interesting. That's, that's neither here nor there, you know what I mean? I didn't know yeah, that. Ain't my place. I didn't know that. Well, actually, I probably did know that. But I, uh, mm-hmm. I haven't thought about that. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> that's interesting you say that. But how do you guys feel about that? Do you think that me as a podcaster, I should be interviewing somebody who has previously snitched? Mm-hmm. You're a journalist. You, you it's different, right? That's what I'm saying. It's like you know, a, a snitch. Really, a snitch no, is the ultimate person that that, that is allowed to talk about whatever because they don't got nothing to hide. They already told the cops everything they know, right? So they could kind of tell you their whole life story. Like Vlad, shout out to Vlad. Vlad interviews a ton of snitches, like mafia snitches. snitches and shit like that, who are actually under like real police protection and shit. 
But they get to come in and tell them all this crazy mafia well, shit they've been on their whole a life. Tech dude from San Francisco in reality. Nah, man. he's a hip hop dude from Oakland. Okay. Let's be real. Yeah, but he's he's a tech dude. You know what I mean? He's, he's a, not. Well, okay, he, he went to school for systems. Uh, systems program. Yeah, 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 that, he's, yeah. A, he's a nerd. At the end of the day, I'm a nerd too. Well, I lie. You know what I mean? But that that's his background. You right. know what I mean? And the the virality of his journalistic endeavors have defined him. But that doesn't make him a, anything hood. You know what I mean? Like, any way, shape, or form? He's not a hood dude. He's no. not in a gang. He's not from the streets like that. You know, same thing with me. You know, it's like I'm an outsider, so I can kind of get away with it. This podcast that I was talking about that wouldn't interview this dude, the dudes who do that podcast are basically street dudes. Not from, not from out here or nothing, but they're basically the kind of people who actually would really care about a snitch. As opposed to me, where I don't really have a reason to be super concerned about that. Fuck 6 9 though. I do want to say that. Good old Daniel Hernandez. Oh, oh, oh hood. <clears throat> Chef Kev, I am Chef Kev, cuz I got the goddamn. Hey, I, I keep it 50 fair straight. I'm a man of my word, right? I keep my word like Baby Snaps would say. Yes. On a little crib. Chef Kev, bring the uh, on hood. Oh, he's gonna bring you the potato thing. Oh, on hood is something nifty. I guess it's already over here. Who's Where's the originator of on hood? Who's the first person to That means neighborhood. That means neighborhood. That, that's, yeah. that's the neighborhood of crib thing, if I wanna say, correct? But so, okay, let me ask you this. Would you like. Is that a baked potato? Yeah, with, with all nice issues. You already ate one. You about to eat that. another one? You what, Would you like that? I just ate. I just all ate right, look. Good. Well, this is a... Uh, Can I take case, it later? Y'all. Yeah, look. Oh, you right, take it five later. Kev Mack, the same dude who created the food that you ate out of the woman's ass. Yes, the big booty. Beautiful sit. Roxy. Hey, Oh, she gets mad when, uh, I don't, when I don't say her name when I, I talk mean, about her. I mean, Kev, this food was great. It was nifty on 50s. Fire as a motherfucking cup. I'm Mac Nasty. I normally eat ass, cuz, with this, this oh, 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 you fight me on Rolling Crib. But uh, this shit was nifty on 50s. Right. Beautiful. Oh, uh. the same, I mean, if someone can make food that's good enough that you want to eat it out of someone's ass, <laughs> no, I mean, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, cuz, like I said, I eat shit just asses normally, cuz, uh, on you Normandy? Me? Normally, normally, on Normandy, on Western, <laughs> you fight me on Rolling Crib. Wherever, cut or, or or you find me at the spot on hood. Next vlog, we're gonna upload it to Pornhub. Fire so show. We go to Fig. We Here fuck we women go. outside, up against cars. I ain't fucking with Fig. Cuh. <laughs> we go, we gonna go on the western side. I ain't okay. doing shit over well, here. I, I forgot. I forgot. What, what's, where's uh, the good spot where you can find the street walkers? Let's do. Let's do Western Avenue. Okay. Okay. That's a track oh, too. Is that, huh? That's a track too. Right? Where? Yeah, on Western. Yeah, Western on hood. You ever head down there though and get yourself some street ass? I'm kind of fascinated by it. No, not me or Cub. Either. No, Cub. I see. Oh, I, I grew up in, in the in the San Fernando Valley next to Sepulveda Boulevard. Like when I was like walking home from high school, there was nothing but like hoes everywhere. You know what mm. I mean? And most of the homies that were out there actually pimping were fools from like from let's say that would have people out Figueroa or would have people out Western. That was like a new area for them. So I grew up around it so much that it was never really something that I was enticed to do. I thought you were going to say that it was just a normal thing. You've been fucking prostitutes since you were a little kid. Oh, no, my uncle's there, buddy. Yeah. I was there fucking all those bitches. Oh, nice. It Hell is yeah. what it is. Why lie? You know what I mean? It's business. That's real. It's not like we're in Mexico and shit. You know, people got fucking... I have an uncle that owns a whorehouse in Mexico. You know what I mean? So like... From a family perspective, if they're working, they're working. It ain't none of my business. Support the community. Yeah. Put your dick in a girl raw. Fuck it. Get um, <laughs> you backfire the community inside that sitch. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's real. Give her a baby. That's the ultimate way to give back. Well, like I said, <laughs> well. I'm going to keep it 50 fifth straight on neighborhood crib. Babies are what? They're a beautiful mm -hmm. blessing. Yes. Don't let us you fight me. 95% of CMs on neighborhood crip curses on hood. And 5% maybe is something nifty on 50s. Right. You five me on hood. So next time I have you on the podcast, you might be a father of five. Sick. I mean, I, I can't see how all them uh, sitch is pregnant like that. Cause hmm. and on, on Hustlers, let's keep it 50 fair street. At least uh, like a couple on rolling. Cause gotta see lying. Hmm. On rolling. They gotta be, right? 
They got to see them. Ooh. But Father of Five sounds pretty badass for a guy like you. That actually, that's your next mixtape. The number, the, number, the number five on Rolling Crib. Father of Five. Yeah, oh, uh, number five. Okay. I had something else to say. I don't hush this. You know how your podcast is real nifty on 50s? Mm-hmm. I don't hush this. My boy Jinx. Yeah. Drinks with Jinx. I was on Cub Podcast. Remember? I sent you I the little that. shit. Yeah. Did you see the little shit I sent you? Because they always ask you about me, so I got to watch it. Oh, uh, remember I sent it? Through your, uh, through your Instagram issue on hood. Yeah, uh, yeah. On hood. Yeah. It shit go. You do an interview, you talk about me, I'm watching it. Oh, uh, The Fuck Fight a Clout song. What about that? Oh, goddamn. Remember that had, song? Had me ready to fuck five the clout, yeah. It sounds less natural when I say it. You've been saying it for so long that you can just change a four to a five. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> for sure. All right, well, Crip Mac, Trapzilla, appreciate what? you guys coming in. Uh, yeah, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate Crip back. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Appreciate that Crip juice. You know what I mean? That yeah. Crip juice. Just a salute one time with you. Yeah, hood. <laughs> uh, you got your black lighter there. I'll cheers the Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks. Fuck Starbucks. What? You never need some caffeine? Uh, oh, County jail. Oh, he blank. He blank Crip juice. We're gonna take this lighter. This lighter is no, no longer. No you good. have Crip juice? That's, yes. I have a song called Crypto, stirred it up, they hear it, they might like it. I better not get claimed for this. I gotta pour some more Crypto juice. That could just be like a outro. Get that Crypto juice, bitch. Get low some that Crypto juice, bitch. Get low some that Crypto juice, bitch. She stirred very nasty girl off that Crypto juice, bitch. Get low some that Crypto juice, bitch. Get low some that Crypto juice, bitch. Get loose, she's got a juicy ass like you said.